during my time in the government, we fought Al Shabaab with limited sources and uh, limited capacity, but we were fully committed and determined. And uh, with the support of the, our friends and the international community, we managed to expel Al Shabaab from the capital and the other strategic cities. But their ideology remained, and their power reemerged, taking advantage of the vulnerability of the government is still posting imminent threat to our security. The international community continues its support for the Somalis people in this fight, and we appreciate that. There are still challenges, and the question is still remain. What it is that we are not doing right? What we can do to eliminate the threat of al-Shabaab and its ideology? Well, these are complex questions. There is no silver bullet, but we need to reduce the political, economic, and the social grievances that enable terror groups to claim political legitimacy. No significant policy for the security challenges. However, our experience has shown that al-Shabaab's threat can be defeated, but there needed to political will to prioritize this fight. I believe that the government's lack of decisive action in this regard it has opened a new Pandora's box and made fight against al-Shabaab even more challenging, more complex, and the more interactable endeavor. However, the Somali people are resilient and peace-loving, and I'm confident that as a nation, we are fully committed and prepared to weaken and defeat al-Shabaab. God willing, we will prevail. Thank you, Mohammed. I hand it up to you.